Hyper geometric series representation of complete elliptic integral of first kind and second kind. In my previous video, uh, I have already uh, proved this hyper geometric series representation of these elliptic integrals. Basically, if you don't know about elliptic integrals, uh, this one is basically integral from 0 to pi by 2 of square root of 1 minus k square sin square. Uh, theta d theta yeah and this one is uh, just this uh, uh, square root is in reciprocal yeah and I, in my previous video I have already like proved uh, the representation uh, but in that I used the sum definition of hypergeometric series yeah in that uh, we it's transformed hypergeometric series uh, using the sum definition of hypergeometric series that uh, 2f1 a b c uh, x this is equal to sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of rising factorial of a rising factorial of b by rising factorial of c x to the power n by n factorial but in this video, uh, we will use the integral definition of the uh, hypergeometric series uh, to convert uh, these elliptic integrals to the hypergeometric series formula. And if you don't know about the integral definition, this is actually 1 by beta function of c minus b comma b in the integral from 0 to 1 of t to the power b minus 1 1 minus t to the power c minus b minus 1 by 1 minus here's x so let me write x 1 minus x t to the power a and then d t yeah uh, this is the integral definition this is the sum definition and we have already like converted using sum definition now let's convert using integral definition yeah and this video will be attached in the description box or also attached over here fine now uh, let's move on to how do we do this so let's begin with the first one the first one first we have integral from 0 to pi by 2 of 1 by uh, root under 1 minus k square sine square theta d theta yeah now how do we change to the form of the integral in over here okay so for that uh, first of all what we can do is we can let y at sine theta okay that might help us and so we get integral from 0 to 1 of 1 by root under 1 minus k square y square and uh, sine inverse y so 1 by root under 1 minus y square dy okay the next thing is uh, with okay so if this k b is just like the x then we have t uh, as the integration variable y as integration variable we see that here we just need to have t here's y square so let us let t equals to y square yeah if we let t equals to y square integration will still go from 0 to 1 now this will be 1 by 1 minus k square t to the power 1 by 2 yeah and this will be a 1 by t and if it goes to numerator it will be minus 1 by 2 yeah and uh, uh, with this assumption we have t to the power 1 by 2 equals to y so 1 by 2 t to the power minus 1 by 2 dt as dy yeah now uh, let's take 1 by 2 outside and uh, integral from 0 to 1 and let us write this in the other form that this is 1 by 2 minus 1 this is also 1 by 2 minus 1 and there's uh, and in the denominator we will not be doing that yeah dt okay so now from here if we compare 
we see that b is 1 by 2 c minus b is also 1 by 2 a is also 1 by 2 yeah and if c minus b is 1 by 2 and b is 1 by 2 we see that adding these two numbers we actually get c yeah we actually get c if we add uh, c minus b and b so that's why 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is 1 so c is 1 b is 1 by 2 a is 1 by 2 now uh, we can write this as the product of beta function in hypersymmetric series yeah so this is 1 by 2 a uh, beta function of c minus b comma b yeah c minus b comma b c minus b is also 1 by 2 b is also 1 by 2 yeah that's c minus b comma b and then hypersymmetric series of our a is 1 by 2 b is 1 by 2 c is 1 and then uh, our x is k square so we, okay we have raised up to this point now we need to find beta 1 by 2 1 by 2 uh, that is just gamma 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 by gamma 1 yeah and gamma 1 is just 1 2 as 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 k square now we know that gamma 1 by 2 is root pi so root by root pi times root pi is just pi so we have pi by 2 or 2 as 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 k square and I think uh, this is the intended hypersymmetric series yeah pi by 2 2 oh hi why am I writing over here as it's actually f it's f I think uh, I think I understood ads for hypersymmetric series but it's actually f here yeah. and whatever whatever doesn't matter so pi by 2 2 f 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 gauge corner for the second one well, this will just be in numerator one well, yeah this thing okay so root under 1 minus k square y square will be numerator so nothing much will change except that we have to bring this expression to denominator yeah in the at the last so that's why the power 1 by 2 will now be minus 1 by 2 and so in place of a we will have minus 1 by 2 yeah and now since in hypersymmetric series a and b are symmetric to each other they can their position can be interchanged so either we can uh, say that series is minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 k square or we can interchange them as well here i have interchange and written it as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 k square so as you see it's just the same doesn't really uh, much difference you can see it from this this also and so you can derive it on your own so that was it hope you enjoyed the video and the flow was uh, the use of substitution and uh, converting this to the one that we want converting it in that form and just comparing and getting the values that was it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and look forward to seeing in the upcoming videos too